Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Elwin Camera Guy, and in this episode, I'm gonna take the slow motion footage you shot with your Sony a6300, a7S II, or a7R II, and turn it into some fun, creative slow motion footage. Let's jump into it. First of all, this video isn't for those of you who are seasoned video editors, um, as this all is very basic, the tutorial I'm gonna go over. Uh, the video is, however, for those of you who wanna take that footage and be more creative with it and you are just kind of learning about video editing in general. This isn't going to be very technical, um, but feel free to throw any comments down below and share any tips or advice for other individuals. So far with the camera, the A6300, I've been blown away by it every single day, every single time I get a chance to use it. I can't tell you how long I've actually wanted to have access to high frame rate. I know there was like a Sony FS camera, the FS100, I think that I really wanted, but it was just kind of out of that price range early on. I wanted to be able to record a lot of sporting events and student athletes and put them in slow motion, basically make a little montage for, for the school, but I just couldn't do it. But Sony finally has made that a possibility by giving us a camera like the Alpha 6300 at such an affordable price. So my tip for those of you who are going to do slow motion is, Use it for situations that need slow motion. If you record slow motion for everything out there, it's just not going to look appealing. So usually the tip that I would do is use it for areas that have a lot of peak action to it. Uh, for example, the moment when the ball is hit or something is caught or something is thrown. Those are usually the moments where you wanna speed and slow something down to exaggerate a moment. Now, as far as the tutorial and software, I'm gonna be using Adobe Premiere Pro. So those of you who use Final Cut Pro, I'm really sorry, but the idea or the concept is pretty much the same for both programs and it doesn't really change that much. As far as the files you're gonna need, you can find them down below in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's the tutorial. The first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro. And from Adobe Premiere Pro, when you make a new project, you're gonna go ahead and choose browse and choose a folder. In this case, I already made a folder somewhere on my computer. You're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a name, slow motion example. That's the title I'm giving it. I'm gonna go ahead and choose okay. From there, we'll have Adobe Premiere Pro open. And what I'd like to do is just go ahead and navigate to window and then choose workspace, reset to save layout. That way we might be on the same page if your version of a Premiere is a little bit different. The next thing I wanna do is make a new sequence. To do that, you can press Control N on your keyboard or Command N on a Mac, I believe. Uh, go to File, New, and choose Sequence right here. And then we're gonna have some option settings. And what I like to do is make sure, in this case, because our footage is 1080p, I'm gonna choose Digital SLR. 1080p at 24 frames per second because that's my output. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. You can give it a name if you'd like to. Once you have that set up, I'm gonna navigate to the left-hand side here on the very bottom left. I'm gonna navigate to where it says Project right here, and there's a bunch of different options and tabs. Go to where it says Project. We're gonna import our file in here. By the way, this is an icon view. You can go ahead and change it down below here by clicking on these little two tabs to alternate. Go ahead and right click, choose import. Now the footage, you should have downloaded it somewhere. I have it posted on my website or somewhere where you can download it. Just go ahead and select both of these files by click and selecting or hold control, control A to select it all, then press open. So you'll have both of these files available. We're gonna start with 001. What you're gonna do next is just go ahead and drag 001 onto your timeline where it says V1A1. You're gonna get a warning. Just go ahead and choose keep existing settings. We don't wanna modify the 24 frames per second. And now we have our file. I like to zoom in on my timeline because it's really hard to see. And so a couple of things you can do on older versions of Adobe, you use these little mountain sliders, but here in Adobe CC, you're gonna go ahead and slide this little slider at the very bottom to go ahead and zoom in on your timeline. And I wanna zoom in because it's we're working with a very short clip. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and extend between V1 and V2. I'm gonna extend this up so I can see a little bit better. 
and even A1, A2 between that extend the audio channel. And that's kind of how I like working. What I'm gonna do is zoom out a little bit here and show the entire clip. Notice how the clip kind of settles right around here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so I can see the timeline. Right around three seconds is where I feel the clip begins to stabilize, right there at three seconds. So to cut the footage, you can press the shortcut key, the letter C on your keyboard for cut, or go ahead and choose a little razor blade. And then what we're gonna do is navigate down here, click on this clip and cut that out. I'm gonna press the letter V on my keyboard or click here for the selection tool. And I'm gonna use those shortcut keys. Click on the first clip. I'm gonna hold shift and press the letter delete to do a ripple delete on my keyboard. And that will just push all the footage to the side. Once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub through. And right around the one second mark, right here, I want the slow motion effect to start. So what I'm gonna do is press the letter C on my keyboard to cut, cut right there. I'm gonna move down to about, not all the way to two seconds, but just maybe three fourths of the way there and cut. Press the letter V, that gets my little selection tool. Now I can go ahead and move this clip. Now you need to move this clip over because we're going to expand this clip right here. This clip is going to get bigger so if we don't move this, it's going to cl uh, collide with it. So I'm just gonna move it over a bit more. And now what I'm gonna do is click on this clip, right click on it, and choose speed duration. Next, what I'll do is change the speed duration to 20%, which will be a five times slow motion, and then select okay. You can even see the length of the duration. Once you're done, just go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring back my initial file and uh, I don't need the whole end clip, so I'm gonna trim that down a little bit, right around here. And to trim it down, you just, you can go on the very edge with your selection tool, the letter V, and just slide it in. And that's it. Now if I play back the clip, the slow motion effect will start. And then it'll speed up again. Now what I'll do is jump to clip 002. We'll do that again very quickly, select 002 and we're gonna drag it in to our timeline. Zoom out, we're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna start the clip right around here. Press the letter C to cut, C for cut. Cut the clip, press the letter V to get the selection tool. Click on that clip we wanna remove, press Shift Delete. Now what I'm gonna do is go through the clip and scrub through it by pulling the little blue playhead and I'm gonna stop as soon as he gets into the air, right around here. I'm gonna cut the clip. I'm gonna press C on my keyboard, press cut, and I'm gonna stop right there. And I'm gonna keep going until he kinda gets right around here before he lands to the ground. Press the letter C again, cut right here. Press the letter V to get the selection tool and move the other clip to the side a bit. Click on this clip, right click, choose speed duration, and then choose 20%. It'll tell you how long the clip will be. Click OK. There's our clip. Go ahead and reattach the clip there, and then play it back. There you go. The goal is to slow it down at the peak motion, which is the jump. And that's my advice for a lot of you who are working on this type of work. And that's it, I'll draw it back to myself in the uh, other camera. And that's it, that is all you need to do in order to take your slow motion footage that you shot at 120 frames per second and slow it down in a program like Adobe Premiere Pro. And it's really simple to do. Again folks, I don't know everything. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like. If you do enjoy the content that I am producing and you wanna see more content like this, consider subscribing. And if you missed any of my previous videos, you can go ahead and find them around here. And with that said, I'm your host, Edwin Camera Guy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.